Joining us now is Richard Levy, an aviation expert and a former commercial pilot. Uh, Richard, so good to have you here. Listen, flying is safe. But when you have a Boeing engineer warn that it's only a matter of time before a Dreamliner breaks apart and falls out of the sky, I don't know, that's scary. Hi, Elizabeth. So nice to talk with you. I did fly for a major airline some 30,000 hours. 99% of that, Elizabeth, was on Boeing from 1977 to retirement, mandatory age 65, June of 2018. My major problem, I had one engine shut down that didn't even have to be shut down. The Boeing aircraft company has been very good to me and the passengers that I have flown around the world. Right, but we're hearing we're hearing testimony about in the last few years, and it's not just from one person, it's from several. And it's not just one incident, now it's several. Uh, and right. we just had the Boeing CEO leave his job. So there's something going on at Boeing, and a lot of people have said that Boeing tried to speed things up make these planes faster, and in the process, they started making these planes, putting them together out of order, and that created a lot of problems. Doesn't that concern you? Not totally. Uh, it really doesn't. Now, is there a quality assurance issue over there that came to light after January's incident with the plug door at Alaska Airlines? That absolutely does. There's a quality assurance issue over there. Boeing has a term called travel on. That means when an airplane's going down the production line, Elizabeth, and a part is not ready to be assembled, the airplane would, with the fuselage would continue on. That has been stopped. If the part's not ready, the, uh, the airplane is not put together there. So, and what so, what, people... so what do you make of this whistleblower saying he saw people jumping onto pieces of planes to get the parts to fit together because they didn't do it so naturally? He said it 30, I yeah. I heard that, you're, you're right, Elizabeth, he did say that. I have a, a friend who runs safety management at Boeing, and also Boeing has disputed that people stood and jumped and down, up and down on an airplane wing. I'm not saying it's not true, I wasn't there. I find it hard to believe. So I want to ask you finally about this whole incident about the door plugs and that door blowing out mid-flight. Boeing has records showing its work on the door panel that blew out don't exist. We heard testimony today that that is actually a criminal cover-up, quote, unquote. Could that be happening? That sounds like it happened. Four bolts were not put on the door. That has been proven by the National Transportation Safety Board. And if there's intentionally done, I find it personally hard to believe, Elizabeth, it's intentionally done. Was there a mistake made there? Very likely. And that will be rectified. No, and I think it's the, it's the cover-up of records, the failure to produce records. And, and right. you know, that's right. what uh, somebody... Uh, is calling, Ed Pearson was calling a criminal cover-up, that they should have the, the records to show that. They Boeing should. says they don't. Yes, they are there, and they will probably be showing, uh, this man said he mailed them in, so they are there, apparently. That's going to be a good question to answer. If I may say real quickly, sure. there have been, you said at the beginning of your great story, Elizabeth, there's been quite a few Boeing incidents of major airlines over the last few weeks, few months. That's true. I want to say they had little to nothing to do with the Boeing aircraft company without taking a lot of time. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.